So, John, both DoorDash and Airbnb, they will go public with their founders still at the helm. Brian Chesky founded Airbnb over a decade ago with Joe Gebbia when they were trying to raise money by renting out air mattresses in their San Francisco apartment. Tony Hsu, he grew up washing dishes at his mom's restaurant, now runs delivery for 175 of the 200 largest national restaurant brands. Now, as their companies go public in multi-billion dollar listings, they're not just running Airbnb and DoorDash, but they and their co-founders will also retain control. Now, the dual class share structure, that's by no means uncommon in tech IPOs. Palantir, of course, had one of the most aggressive structures that essentially gave its founders control for life and investors they certainly have not minded. So which typically perform better? This goes back to an age old debate. A Reuters study of Refinitive Data found that major founder led tech companies have outperformed rival tech firms led by hired managers in terms of share share price and profit growth. They have a history, founder-led companies, of higher returns and faster recovery in the aftermath of a financial crisis as well. Now, past performance, guys, doesn't guarantee future returns, but Airbnb and DoorDash will be a chance for investors to buy into two newly public founder-led firms as their competitors, their rivals, are CEO. They're operationally led. Operator Dara Khazar Shahi, of course, he took over Uber from founder Travis Kalanick. Expedia and Booking Holdings are run by CEOs with backgrounds in private equity and banking, respectively. They did not build those companies. But, of course, there could be a trade-off. Founder-led companies, though they may come with more opportunity, they often come with higher risk as well. And we know that both Brian Chesky and Tony Hsu, they have grand ambitions to grow their companies beyond home sharing and food delivery. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.